A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So this is a little bit of a different video because normally I don't cover the news when it comes to Unreal Engine's competitors like Unity in this case. However, this is news that will affect Unreal Engine as well. So it's sort of important to discuss this and inform what is actually going on. For those that are not aware among you, Unity recently changed their price plan which includes a a fee they call it a runtime fee schedule you can see the plan here essentially it is uh, when you're meeting a certain threshold of income for your your game a certain revenue threshold you will be paying a certain amount of money uh, per install of the game now this install is set to be 20 um, cents for the plan that is the the base version and then you have some uh, more expensive versions of unity that will have a lower fee when it comes to the installs and this is a problem for unity for a few different reasons uh, one reason is that they have chosen to do this in a very odd way um, Another is that they have these fees be per install of the same game, for example. So if you have a game, you uninstall it and you reinstall it again, apparently that's going to count as two installs. Uh, so if you're upset with the game, for example, uh, you could install it multiple times and then have a fee incurred on the developer. Uh, this is very troubling, of course. Um, other than that, it will also count several different devices that you install the game on as a separate fee as well. Uh, I've also heard some rumors about it being uh, available even on demos. Uh, there's also been some other rumors flourishing around like uh, CEOs or high ups in Unity selling off shares just days or weeks before this announcement, which sounds problematic but i don't know if this is true or not um essentially what this is is a very problematic way to change your pricing model for unity developers and it creates an uncertain working environment especially when you don't know uh, if you can actually make it economically with the situation as it is right now right and adding these per install fees will cause even more uncertainty and this is a little bit of a catastrophe for Unity uh, because it's getting a lot of um, backlash, which is understandable, of course. Um, but the main issue here is probably going to be that it doesn't matter if Unity completely reverts this because they have burned some bridges and lost the trust of their developers because it sort of shows that Unity as a company is willing to do these kind of things that are working against their developers, which are, if you think about it, their main promotional tools when it comes for the Unity engine itself. Uh, great games made in Unity is what makes Unity get a spotlight on it. And if they were to walk these things back tomorrow, the developers will not, never know if this is going to happen again in the future, right? Uh, so will this be the end of Unity? Is Unity dying? No, most likely not. Uh, you will probably see a lot of clickbait around this saying that Unity will be dying and, and, and all stuff like that. Unity will probably be fine. Uh, the problem is that it has created an, an uncertain relationship between itself and its developers and it will for sure lead to a lot of developers leaving Unity for other game engines such as Unreal Engine, which is why I'm making this video. Um, if you want to get sort of a larger view of what does this entail, well, uh, a few things. Y Unity has a very large market share. 
according to this number, it has about a third of the game development market. That is a lot. That means that a third of the development force is in Unity and if they now feel that they cannot trust Unity or they do not want to pay for this plan that Unity has laid out currently, they will be seeking uh, their luck elsewhere for under engines uh, for their projects because this might not be a feasible uh, way moving forward for them. And you might be wondering, well, what is the repercussions for Unity? Is there like their stock plummeting? Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, this is the recent trend from just uh, yesterday, and it has dropped a bit, but take note that this is not a representative scale. It's just showing that it's moving. It has lost about, what is 4% or something like that. Um, it is not large in the big sense of the thing. But if you look over like a large period of time, five years, you can see that it has been going downwards trending, which is not good, of course. And when they keep making decisions like this, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't reflect well on them. And it, it makes it a very problematic situation for the developers. Now, my opinion on this is that this is bad, of course. Uh, mainly for Unity, and they may not recover completely from this ever, who knows, but they are most likely not going to die. But the part that is most important in my opinion is that we will probably see a great influx of people coming from the Unity engine to Unreal Engine. And I know that some people might hold a sort of competitive animosity towards Unity developers, and my uh, wish is to sort of convey that as game developers and as a game developing community, if you're watching this and you encounter a Unity developer trying to make a transition over to Unreal Engine, try to be supportive as a community for that. Because even though it might be a loss for Unity, and a gain for Unreal Engine, we want it to be a gain for game development as a whole, right? Because it's not about which engine is the best and things like that. We want to allow people to make great games and for people to be able to play great games. And for that reason, try to be supportive and help them along uh, lead them to channels of good quality for learning Unreal Engine and such, and good resources like the Unreal Engine official sites, the, the hub, everything like that, to allow them to transition if they feel that moving to Unreal Engine is the right choice for them. Anyway, that's going to be all for this video. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.